Hey YouTube, um, doing a deck profile here uh, for a deck that uh, be a little bit before you can actually use this exact build. You could play test it online and Duel Network if you want. Uh, this is an Ice Barrier deck. Um, I've been working, it's a project I've been working on for a while. Uh, just now getting around to actually making a video of it and stuff. Um, plus, with uh, Infoton Shockwave, there's a very, very hopeful card for Ice Barriers in it which I have some of here, this guy. Um, I'll get started by explaining this guy. This is Preacher of the Ice Barrier. He's a level two. Uh, you can s special summon him from your hand if you control another Ice Barrier guy. During the turn that he was summoned, you cannot special summon a level five or higher. Um, and you can tribute him to special summon a ice barrier guy from your grave. So ice barriers, their effects usually are based on if you've got another guy out you get to use me. So the fact that you get to summon him straight from the hand it makes the other guys more usable. Um, and you contribute him to transform into any guy you've already used before. So yeah, he's a very good card. Probably one of the best, if not the best thing they ever did for ice barriers very good card and that's why we're running three next we have my favorite ice barrier card uh, strategist in three strategist level four 16 beater and discard an ice barrier guy to draw uh, he's very important in the deck for getting the deck going by speeding it up and by pitching things to the grave um, Three defender of the ice bear. He's the uh, main tuner of the deck, and he's the defense of the deck. Uh, if you have another ice barrier guy, when this guy's out, monsters with an attack, well, your opponent's monsters. It doesn't affect you. That have uh, attack equal to or greater than his 16 defense can't attack. So pretty much he blocks almost everyone who would be an actual threat. And he's a little three tuner. Very good card. Um. We have two Samurai of the Ice Barrier. It's an 18 beat stick, and if you need to, if you need to, you can turn to defense, kill him, and draw. You actually do have him commit suicide or draw often. Um, he's not a great card, but he's pretty decent. Um, two Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier. It's a 17 beater. She can reveal if you have another Ice Barrier out. You can reveal any number of ice barrier guys in your hand and then bounce that many of your opponent's spell and traps. If she could bounce your own cards, she'd be a lot cooler. You could bounce like your own Phoenix chains and stuff like that. But she's still pretty cool, she's just not that amazing. But her artwork is pretty amazing. Two of her. Uh, two General Gantala of the Ice Barrier. He's a level 8, I think. Uh, he's got 2700 and during each end phase that he's out you can special summon a ice barrier monster from the grave in my opinion he's the best of the generals um, because of how the engine of this deck works which I'll get to in a little bit For the spells three medallion of the ice barrier add any ice barrier monster from your deck to your hand I don't think I need to explain why this is good Three Magic Triangle of the Ice Barrier. This card, uh, it can be difficult to use, but the way the deck's set up, it's not that hard to pull off. It's actually a very important card of the deck, which is why there's three of it. Uh, you reveal three Ice Barriers in your hand, destroy a card on the field, and then summon an Ice Barrier guy from your hand. This is the easy way to drop uh, the general, um, and you get to pop something. It's not that hard to pull off as you think. It's actually pretty usable. Uh, three Maria Greed. Shuffle two waters from your hand to your deck. Draw three. This deck only plays waters. Very cool card in this deck. Helps get to the point. Um, two Salvage. Get back two waters with 1500 or less. In the deck, you can get back your Defenders and your preachers both very good cards especially preacher you want to use 
him as much as you can and you, you'll be discarding them for the strategist to draw cards and then getting them back for the plus. Uh, three pod duality help the deck get more consistent and get to where you need it to be. Um, usually play these on turn one while you're doing all the draw stuff to set for your next turn. Now to the staples, 3 MST, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, and not many traps, Torrential, Mirror, Solemn, Solemn, Solemn. So that's it for the main deck. The way it works often is you're just uh, doing going through a draw engine setup and using the salvages and stuff and setting your hand up to play the triangle and drop this general. And then on your end phase, you use the general to revive your uh, defender in defense mode. So now that it's your opponent's turn, they won't be able to attack. Then when it gets back to your turn, you summon another guy and sync him with the defender for one of the very good synchro monsters the ice barriers have. As you know, they're like all really good. DeLorean, Bionic, Trishula. Um, because strategists and other guys are spellcasters, you can make Arcanite Magician, or you can make Gungrir, Trishla, Bionic, and Deloren. Uh, there's one build I had with Deloren using the Phoenix Change, but it wasn't as consistent as I liked. So, but still, it's a very good deck. Um, if I can get to it sometime in the next week, I'm going to try to have a video of me playing the deck so you can see it in action.